In this video, I'm going to be installing the raceway for my first install of my mini split heat pump system and show you a few things I learned along the way. The first step is to figure out how much raceway you need to get your line set and electrical cable from the indoor condenser to the outdoor condenser. If you don't have your units yet, make sure to check the spec sheets that they have online and figure out which side of the units the connections are on, as this could change your measurement by three to six feet. The first thing I did was install the indoor unit. Using a three inch hole saw, cut a hole through the house with a slight angle downward and away from the unit to help the condensation drain. Then slide the through wall sleeve with the flange facing indoors. So, just unbox the Speedy Track Diversitech uh, line set cover here, raceway. I got three of them for what we needed. We needed about 20 feet. So you can see they've got the, the back part here. And you can tell it's the back part. It's got the track, these little clips that slide around. And that's what you use to uh, attach the zip ties that are going to hold the line set and the electrical cable together. I decided to go with the Diversitech Speedy Channel for a couple different reasons. I thought about using some plastic gutter, but the Speedy Channel acts as a more weatherproof barrier, and I thought ultimately it was worth a few more dollars to give it a more finished and professional look. All the parts for this project are itemized in the description below, and the total cost was $125 for the raceway and all the connections. <laughs> Diversitech parts that you need to get. So I ended up getting this uh, 90 degree long bend and I got the long bend elbow just to try to decrease the amount that the copper tubes are going to be bending. So they sell kind of a short 90 degree angle one but I figured that long bend would be better for keeping the copper not having to make such an aggressive turn with it. So I got that. This is the three inch duct end. So out of this end I'll have my two line sets coming out. And then right there I'm going to bore a hole and use the whip, the electrical whip, to connect that to the cable with a liquid tight fitting. And then these are just the uh, straight connectors. These are uh, one and one quarter inch screws for outdoor projects to put this stuff up. It would be better to use stainless steel or I mean, even better silicone bronze or something like that. First, I attach the wall penetration cover over the lines coming out of the house. On each of the connecting pieces, there's a ridge where the track should come to. Measure 1 8 of an inch space for thermal expansion. I used a plumb bob to help tape out where the track needed to be vertically, and then place the back of the long 90 degree turn. With the connections in place, I measured out the length of the track and cut. Next, I moved on to the horizontal run. One thing I did was to make sure that the line set would have some amount of slope from the indoor unit all the way to the outdoor unit, so there wouldn't be any low spots for fluids to collect. Attach the track every 15 inches with a screw. Next, I measured the diameter of the drain tubing and bored a hole for it to exit the 90 degree elbow and go straight down. The other modification I made was to the duct end piece to allow a flexible electrical conduit to be attached as required by code. Slide one cable tie clip about every 20 inches. I then laid the electrical cable in loosely with some string. Make sure to use liquid tight connections for the conduit housing the cable. 
I ended up using the 90 degree fitting later coming out of the track. Next, I installed the line set. I'll have another video on how to flare the copper tubing and make the connections. Then you zip tie it in and it's ready to be covered. I actually found covering it up to be the most frustrating part. I used the 3 inch wide channel and it would definitely have been a lot easier to get the cover onto a 4 inch wide or larger channel. But in the end I think the struggle was worth it for the result. If you have any questions post them below and if you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button or give it a like.